public to send a message to the people that are pushing hate, or as he stated it, fighting hate with hate. So let's listen to what Charles Barkley had to say. Listen, Deshaun Jackson, Steven Jackson, Nick Cannon, Ice Cube, man, what the hell are y'all doing? Like, y'all want racial equality. We all do. I don't understand how insulting another group helps our cause. And the only person called y'all on it was Kareem. We can't allow black people to be prejudiced also, especially if we're asking for white folks to respect us, give us economic opportunity, and things like that. I'm so disappointed in these men, but I don't understand how you beat hatred with more hatred. That stuff should never come up in your vocabulary, and it should never come up in your heart. I don't understand it. I'm never going to accept it. Well, Charles, I love you, but I hate them. And the bottom line is they are racist. They're the worst racist that ever lived. The worst plantation owner that ever cursed the earth, Charlie, had to run a plantation. Had to get dirty at some point. He didn't become a millionaire owning slaves by playing a game. Most of these black professional athlete racists, of which the NBA and the NFL are mostly made of, they are the most virulent, hateful racists that, racists that have ever lived. They never picked up a shovel. They never picked cotton. They never ran anything. What they ran was to the bank, cashing in mama's welfare check as children. And then they came to adulthood. And whether they went to college on a free ride and not for scholarship, because there ain't too many of them that are scholars, they become multi-millionaires. And in a point in history where this burning down cities for Black Lives Matter, which is nothing more than a communist, black racist movement, supported by white inane drones, who are the most useless of useful idiots. These people never had a job. They don't know what it is to sacrifice anything. They were given everything because they could play a game, an effing game. And any American who watches the NBA or the NFL, you're mentally deficient or you're a degenerate. Because that's what it's come to. It's long past the time of choosing sides. Nazis or Nazis, black or white, German or American. And that's what these black thugs are. And their white constituency, especially the evil ones who who put money into this. And at the height of this BLM destruction... Two black athletes, Patrick Mahomes, $550 million, and Mookie Betts, a better-than-average baseball player on the L.A. Dodgers, got $450 million. Now, you tell me that's a racist country. And Charles, with all due respect, and I love you, man, but let's talk about the people sitting in the stands. What color are they? They're mostly white. 90% or better, whether it's the NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball, those are white working people populating the stands. What's on the field? Mostly people of color. By long shot in the NBA, it's over 90%. And the NFL has shot up over 80% black. Now, can you imagine if you brought back Frederick Douglass, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and took him to a ball game today and said, look down there, guys. Those are all the beloved black athletes that are all worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Do you know what Malcolm, Martin Luther King, and Frederick Douglass would have said? Well, I guess us niggas can go home. We did our job. That's what they'd say. They'd say, holy moly, we were better than we ever knew. Why aren't there any churches and religions 
started for us, for what we've done, to bring along the end of racism in, in America. But no. You take Hollywood, you take all the black stars in music, Michael Jackson alone. That's a racist country. Every white kid in America had a poster of Michael Jackson in their bedroom in the 80s. And the same for Michael Jordan. Turn on your TV and try to find a channel that doesn't have a overrepresentation of blacks, especially commercials all showing blacks dating white women. What, what, that's just accident? So this is beyond folly and insanity. This is a movement right out of hell. And it's time for America to grow up and put your toys down. But for hockey, I don't watch any sports anymore. And it isn't because they're mostly white. It's because they behave. A good percentage of NHL players come from other countries and they stand for our national anthem. Even the Russians. Hello? They're over here making the good American money and they know it. And they're grateful. And they're wonderful kids. And one of the proudest things I ever felt was the day Ovechkin brought the Stanley Cup to Red Square and to see the enthusiasm and the wonderful warm reception of Russian kids going up to touch the Stanley Cup. But not these thugs that are in our sports. Not, not these black thugs, the majority of which are black thugs. Okay? There's not enough Charlie Barkleys. There's just not. And what are you going to do? Set the timer? How long are you going to wait for these people to have an epiphany? Because the more they get, the angrier they are. How many white people like myself were denied jobs and college money because of affirmative action? I challenge you to come up with one black person who was ever told by the government because the color of their skin, their demography, their creed or religion, they couldn't have a job. Find one. And all you spoiled white liberal women, of which I've heard, I'm glad that happened to you. Right? The spoil, the most spoiled demographic on earth. The American liberal Bhutan. I've never heard a black guy say to me, well, that's racial justice that you didn't get your opportunities. So I could. Never heard a black guy say that. You know what all black guys always said to me? Man, that's some serious bullshit. That's wrong. Every time I've spoken to a black guy about affirmative action, when it affected somebody personally like me, the black guys would say it was wrong. You know what the white liberal women say? I'm glad that happened. Yeah, all the Karens out there, the school teachers that tell you how they care about your children, they don't care about your children, they throw your children in an incinerator to get a bigger pension. Like a lot of the bad cops. And I'm supposed to pick and choose, right? Because all cops are good? Bullshit! You could tell I'm not a sympathizer for black radicals either. But man, when I see a white cop shooting a guy in the back, I'm thinking, man, you got to be some kind of evil or stupid MFR. And it still goes on. And you know what the cops, the school teachers, and these black radicals have? They're all effing entitled. You're a school teacher in New York City, you raped the kid. You sold them heroin, sit in a rubber room till your pension comes due. Who the hell could believe this? You work for the government? You molested an intern in your charge? I never had sexual relations with that woman, Miss Monica Lewinsky. You're Hillary Clinton? You cut dirty deals with foreign governments like Uranium One along with Obama, Mueller, and Comey, and you made hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Joe Biden, his son Hunter got a billion dollars from China. 180 million a month. Or excuse me, 180,000 a month 
from the Ukraine, from Burisma, knew nothing about energy. Had nothing to do with daddy being the vice president under Obama. No. But they're worried about Trump may have had a conversation with the Ukrainian president when he asked him to go after corruption. When he invited them, if you know anything about the scoundrel behavior of the previous administration, please forward the information. And boy, the whole FBI went right into machinery. The crooked Strocks and Pages and Comeys. And now this guy, Ray. Yeah, you, you scumbag. You think we don't know what you are? And they're sitting there having seances and prayers for their crooked, dirty Joe China Biden to win this election. Because God knows what's coming if he doesn't win. Well, I got news for you. God knows what's coming if he does. Because if you think what you've seen up till now on the left was bad, wait till you see what we on the right bring. You asked for it, you lefties, and it's coming. It's coming. 